Hey, it's Courier Girl, and I'm coming to you at 5 a.m., so the sun is not even up yet. But I wanted to do this video because I wanted to start a new series called Recipes for the Road. And the very first recipe that I want to share with you is one of my staples for breakfast. And this is the time I'm eating breakfast, usually, because I'm on the road by 3.30 or 4.30 every morning. So hopefully you can see this okay. I know the light's not the best, but I parked in a well-lit parking lot as best as I could. So this recipe is really simple. It's very versatile, super cheap, almost free actually. And it's one of the things that I eat at least several times a week. And I call it gas station oatmeal. So you're like, what? Gas station oatmeal? That doesn't even make sense. Let me explain. I like to eat oatmeal for breakfast because it's filling, it's got fiber, it's very inexpensive, and it's quick and easy. And oatmeal by itself can be kind of like boring or not very tasty. So I found all sorts of cool things at the gas station that can make your oatmeal even better. Now, before I get started, I just want to say don't buy your your actual oatmeal at the gas station. They usually have little packets you can buy, but they're way expensive and never the right amount. So for me, one packet isn't enough and two packets is too much. So I like to do my own. So this is what I do. Hold it up here. I go to the store and I get oats, quick oats. This is a store brand. I don't get the name brand. And this says whole grain, 100%. See, it says quick oats. And it was like... $2.89 or something. Um, it was under $3 for sure. So I used to carry the whole canister around with me and then what happened was I hit a bump and things jumped up in the back of my van and the container got smashed and I got stuff all over the darn place and I had to vacuum it all out. So I got smarter than that and now this is what I do. I have this. I don't know if you can see it. It's not very cool. It's a Ziploc um, Ziploc brand disposable container. It's actually pretty thick and I think it holds three or four cups and it has see a screw top. So you can actually screw the top on. So even if you have to hit your brakes fast or swerve real hard and stuff goes flying, it's still going to be fine. So that's what I do. So let me give you the basic recipe and then I'm going to tell you how I make things even better with gas station oatmeal. So what you do is you go to the gas station and get a cup. This one is from Speedway and this is 12 ounces. I get 12 or 16 ounces depending. You want to get about half a cup. I don't, I'm not going to show you because you won't be able to see it, but about a half a cup, third a cup to a half a cup of hot water and you get that over by the coffee. Okay. And then you also want to get a, set this down, a reclosable lid. So a reclosable lid, here's the like unreclosable lid. See, it's got a little hole right here. You want the one with the little flap that you can close all the way because you're going to be putting that lid on for a few minutes to um, kind of keep the heat in so the oatmeal can do its oatmeal thing. All right, so then all you do is you just hold your cup up, not this high, but then you just start pouring in a little oatmeal. You pour some in. Take a spoon, stir it around, and you want to just keep pouring it in little by little and stirring little by little till you have a little runnier consistency than you like. So, let me do it again. So, if you like your oatmeal thick, you still want to make it a little runny, and that's because um, as it sits for a few minutes, it's getting thickened up quite a bit and you don't want to have like oatmeal cement, right? So this is just about where I like it and you will figure this out over time. That's what I did. Um, and sometimes I still get it wrong. So then you put your reclosable lid on you let it sit three to five minutes and you're done. Voila, that's it. So I said this was the basic recipe and I want to talk about the things that I do at the gas station to make it better because by itself, like I said, it's kind of bland, not very tasty. So I was going to 
um, do a video in the gas station, but then you had to get like corporate approval and wait till there were no customers. So I'm like, no, I'm just going to take pictures. So here are some of the things that I add to my oatmeal. Um, first of all, if you go over to the coffee station, there's all sorts of sweeteners. You can get sugar, you know, sweet and low, whatever you like. You can get any kind of sweetener you like. So that's the first thing if you like it sweeter. Some gas stations even have honey and syrup, and syrup is really good in oatmeal, and so is honey. So when I go to a gas station that has those, I'll grab a couple packs and keep them in so that I have them when I need them. But not everybody has that. The other thing is oatmeal's better when it's creamier, and you could buy a little bottle of milk and heat it up in the gas station microwave, but then your bottle of milk is probably too much milk, like too much quantity, so then you're going to have half a bottle, what do you do with that? And you can't really heat it up in the plastic milk bottle, or you shouldn't, so then you got to have another container. So I ditch the whole milk idea pretty quick. But what I do is I get little packs of half and half from the gas station. And I put them right in my hot water before I ever add the oatmeal. Um, I usually use two, but you can use however many you want. And it just gives it a much creamier texture. The other thing is some gas stations have those um, dispensers where you just put your cup under it and you can just dispense how much half and half that you want. Half and half in milk sometimes and sometimes like French vanilla. And that works really well too. Just figure out the amount that is the amount that works for you. And then the other thing that I found out, and I was like, wow, this is like a game changer, was flavored creamers. So you put those in your coffee, right? Hazelnut, caramel, English toffee, um, mocha. There's all sorts of different ones. In whatever you like in coffee, try it in your oatmeal. It's so good. It just gives it a whole different flavor, and it's free from the gas station. Um, the other thing is buy the coffee. Some have some gas stations have um, bottles of like flavor shots. You can put a squirt of that in your oatmeal, and they also sometimes have shakers of like chocolate powder and cinnamon, and maybe some other things. And you can put that in your oatmeal too. But those. I usually wait till I'm done and then shake them on top. And because I like cinnamon, I usually keep a spice jar in my car with powdered cinnamon so that I can just shake it in my car without going back into the gas station after I get my hot water. Okay, so that's on the coffee bar side what you can do. The other thing you can do is a lot of gas stations sell fruit. So I get bananas and apples from the gas station quite often. And I will just slice half a banana and maybe cut it up, cut each slice into quarters so they're smaller. And I'll stir that right in with the oatmeal. Or I'll peel part of the apple and then I'll cut chunks out of it, um, maybe pea-sized or a little bit bigger. And I will add that. Now, I like to add the apples to the hot water and stir them around so you get a little of that apple flavor going. And then add the oatmeal and then mix it in really good so it's all mixed throughout. And then sprinkle cinnamon on top. That's so good. Um, and sometimes you still need a little sweetener with that, but it's so good to do that way. All right. So what else can you do? I like chocolate chip oatmeal. You know, chocolate chip oatmeal cookies are good. Why not chocolate chip oatmeal? So what I do with that is there's no chocolate chips in the gas station that I've seen. You can carry your own with you, or you can buy a bag of M&Ms. And what I do with the M&Ms is I wait till it's all done and then I put a few of them on top and then eat a little bit of it and then put a few down, you know, on the next layer and eat, eat a little bit of it. So I'm always getting M&Ms in not every bite, but most every bite. And I don't mix that in first because otherwise it starts to melt and just make a mess. So I do that at the end. Another thing you can do is these crunchy granola bars. Um, so granola bars are made of oats anyway, and what you can do is, if you're careful, you can leave them in the wrapper and you can um, crunch them up. So you want them to be like pulverized, so they're in little pieces. If you're not careful, like me, then just put them in a Ziploc freezer bag and then you can smash them to your heart's delight. And you get a whole bunch of crumbs of basically granola. 
Again, you want to use the crunchy ones, not the chewy ones. And then you can just mix some of it right in with your oatmeal, and that gives you flavor and texture because it gives you crunch along with the creamy softness of the oatmeal. So that's a great idea. And then the other thing is trail mix. There's all sorts of little nuts and trail mix, trail mix bags in the gas station. You can see some of them here. And I will just open a pack of them and sprinkle some of them into my oatmeal and stir it all in. And then you get the crunch of the nuts. You get some protein from the nuts. Um, you get a little bit of a salty flavor sometimes if they're salted. And if it's trail mix, you also get the sweetness of the dried fruit or the chocolate or whatever's put into the trail mix. So it makes like a nice, um, just a nice addition to your oatmeal. And sometimes I'll buy a big bag of trail mix and that'll last me several days. Not a big bag, but like a gas station big bag, which is still kind of small. Okay, the other thing, and this is something that nobody ever seems to think of, these, these um, like Slim Jims, or I like the Jack's Beef Sticks. Those are really, really good. That's probably my favorite. And what I do is I'll open one up and I'll cut little pieces off, like about a quarter of an inch. And I'll put it right into my hot water and stir it around so that the flavorings get out into the water, make my oatmeal, and then you have a savory kind of oats and sausage type of thing. And I mean, don't knock it until you've tried it. I tried it and I'm like, wow, this is really good. I like this. So that is another way that you can do it that's savory rather than sweet. So look around your gas station and say, what can I add to my basic oatmeal that is either free, like the creamers and stuff like that, or inexpensive, like the fruits or some of the granola bars aren't much. And a granola bar can last you two or three days as far as oatmeal. You're not going to put the whole crunched up one in there. You're just putting enough in for the flavor. You know, or the meat sticks, or I already said the fruit or the chocolate like the M&M's or the trail mix or whatever else you can think of. So that's it for um, gas station oatmeal. I'm going to have mine in just a minute here. And I didn't add anything to this. This is plain because I just wanted to show you how to do it real quick. But I do have a banana up front. I'm going to slice up and put in there. So again, that's it for now. I have got to get onto my next delivery. So I will see you on the road.